Okay, I'm kind of bored, so I'm going to be doing something pretty fun today. I'm going to be giving you my top 10 double fruits as of chapter 1065, as of 2022, basically. Now, obviously, as time goes, maybe this list can change. Maybe new double fruits can be revealed and added. But as of right now, I think I've got down the top 10 strongest double fruits. And the list hasn't changed much from, from previous lists I've made in the past. It's usually the same double fruits always make it in the top 10. There are a couple of outliers now, though, so we'll go over them. So I say we get into this video. If you want more One Piece content, anime content, I just talk about anime and manga every single day. So you might as well subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And yes, I made a Google Doc just to make this. So coming in at number 10 um, is the gasu gasu no mi now finding a number 10 i feel like was the hardest spot i think this was the hardest spot to fill because there are so many double fruits that i think are quite powerful but i think the the gasu gasu no mi or the gas gas fruit it's a very powerful logia not only does it give you so many hacks abilities but it's so versatile and the fact it being a logia and it just the the sad part it's given to a very trash user in caesar so i think it deserves that top 10 spot i think if you give it to a better user i think maybe you could see it in a top 5 spot depending on how that user utilizes it so yeah, I think number 10, Gas Gas Fruit, fits perfectly. Coming in at number 9 is the Pika Pika Nomi. Now, I used to rate this Del Fruit a lot higher back in the past. Um, I used to think it was a top 5 fruit. But I think there are just so many other fruits that, you know, in my opinion, are better than it. And I think maybe it's because of Kizaru, but I also think it has a lot of limitations. Kizaru obviously can travel at the speed of light, but there are like certain conditions he has to set up in order to travel that fast. Um, either though, either way, it is a very powerful double fruit, and I think it, it deserves a top 10 spot easily. Hopefully, we get to see the full potential of this fruit. Maybe in the future, I could put it even higher, but as of right now, I think putting it number 9 is fair. Coming in at number 8 is the first new double fruit, and that's the Wapu Wapu no Mi. Now, you might be like, wait, Straha, you're putting the Wapu Wapu no Mi, the Warp Warp fruit, already above the Pika Pika no Mi? Yes, I am, okay? The Wapu Wapu no Mi is owned by Von Auger. It's a double fruit that was revealed recently. From what I have seen, this double fruit is broken. Not only did it just save Blackbeard in a very crucial clutch moment, it teleported what I believe Aokiji and Von Auger all the way from Whole Cake Island to where the Blackbeard uh, pirates are currently stationed at. That type of gap to traveling that type of distance is insane and then to do that and also save your captain and you know move around people like burgess he literally is the heart of the crew in my opinion like he can move people where he wants them to be i think it's such a deadly fruit and i think if you give it into in like the right hands i think it becomes even more deadly like imagine this type of fruit with shanks yeah it's it's out of this world Coming in at number 7 is the Magu Magu no Mi, the Magma Fruit, um, Akainu's Devil Fruit, right? A Oda himself stated that this fruit is the most offensive Devil Fruit. Um, Oda stated that if Akainu was looking for the One Piece, I think he would do it in a year or something like that. So, it, it is a very powerful Devil Fruit. It's extremely offensive, but it's also very defensive, right? In a sense where you can't really hit Akainu because if you hit him, Magma just spews everywhere and obviously you're going to get burned. So, you don't want to play with fire. It's the upgraded version of Aces Fruit. So, I, I, I gotta say, it's number 7. In my opinion, I think it's too much to deal with, right? It's too powerful. You want to go up against it, there's not much you can do, and there is so much damage that he can cause with that double fruit, right? So I think putting it at number 7 is understandable. Coming in at number 6 is kind of difficult. I want to put this fruit a little bit higher, but I don't know where I could put it. And that's the Op Op fruit, okay? Law's fruit. Now, Law's double fruit, uh, it, it would have been a lot weaker before his awakening, but with his awakening, oh, bro, this fruit... It's hacks. It, it really is. Just because of this fruit, Law is capable of going up against Yonkos. That's that's how deadly this fruit really is, right? So putting it at number six, six, I think is fair. I think the other fruits that are above this fruit are just extremely powerful. Not only that, this fruit is extremely versatile. Uh, there is so much Law can do in battle. So yeah, you do not want to mess with Law. The next one coming in at number five is pretty obvious. It's the Gura Gura no Mi, uh, the Quake Quake fruit, which belonged to Whitebeard and now current now it's currently possessed by Blackbeard. This fruit, like, do I need to say much? It's the, considered the most powerful Paramecia. Uh, he, it's stated to be able to destroy the world, right? It's very defensive. It's very offensive. There is so much you can do. You can literally change the battle setting. Like, eh, what more do you want with that type of fruit? It's extremely powerful. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty simple. You just cause earthquakes. Like, what more do you want, right? Coming in at number four is is the Goro Goro no Mi and I think like how many years has it been since this fruit was revealed and it's still in that top 10 heck top 5 for me right it's the lightning fruit and else Goro Goro no Mi is extremely powerful in my opinion it's probably the most powerful logia just because you could zip around the battlefield so you got the speed that Kizaru offers but then you also got the offense right it's it's a very deadly uh lightning is a very deadly tool you do not want to be hit by lightning uh, then you got then you have the ability to restart your own heart you could conduct electricity so you could like if there's any technology you have 
hey, you can power it up. Like, it's such a deadly fruit. And then mixing it with your observation hockey, there is so much you can do with the Goro Goro no Mi. It's literally outstanding. I could even see it being higher than top four. I think it could be top three. It's a very, it's debatable. And yes, there are three double fruits that, in my opinion, are stronger than the Goro Goro no Mi. Okay, coming in at number three is the Uwa Uwa no Mi model Seiryu. This is Kaido's dragon fruit. I, I think this has surpassed, in my for me, in my opinion, it's surpassed Enel's fruit. Not only does it give you extreme defenses, right? Remember, you cannot defeat Kaido with regular hockey. You need that extra hockey. You need, you know, that, that Wano type of hockey, that that Ryo, right? You cannot just beat Kaido with regular hockey because of his fruit, because of how defensive he is. But on top of that, then he's got his Boro Breath. On top of that, then he's got his abilities to, you know, f with control flame clouds and literally lift entire islands. When I saw this man lift Onigashima from the ground, I, I had to put this fruit in my top 10. I literally had to because it is so powerful, right? It is so powerful. Not only that, he's capable of all somewhat to a degree control weather. Boro Blast, Control Weather, Flame Clouds, Flight, s extreme powerful defenses, uh, offensive. It's it's extremely powerful. I think putting it in top three, uh, I mean, it could even possibly be top two, right? I think it could be top two. I think my top two is pretty solid, but I could switch this out with number two in my opinion. So yeah, the, the Dragon Fruit is literally broken. Coming in at number two is the Yami Yami no Mi, Blackbeard's Double Fruit. Now, the reason I'm putting this number two, you might be like, Straha, we haven't seen anything from this fruit, but I think the portrayal alone that we get from this fruit, right, the self-proclaimed strongest Logia, the ability to nullify other Devil Fruits, especially seeing, you know, someone like Boa. Someone like Boa is extremely powerful because of her Double Fruit, and because Blackbeard's Double Fruit nullifies every single Devil Fruit, it, it, it's hacks, bro, it's hacks. You can, if you have a Double Fruit and you're going up against Blackbeard, you're basically outmatched because his double fruit is the counter to every single double fruit in the world. On top of that, it probably has other abilities that we don't know of. It's such a broken devil fruit. It really is. There's so much you could do with it. You could, in a sense, control gravity to a degree. Like, you not only get Fujitora's double fruit in a sense, but you get like the darkness powers, you get a nullify fruits, you get to absorb things. Yeah, you don't get the intangibility of the Logia, but like, Logia intangibility has kind of become useless in the new world, so not having that isn't a big deal. You get so many extra benefits that, in my opinion, I think the Yami Yami no Mi being number two is fitting. And number one is a new devil fruit. It's a fruit that was revealed recently in the manga. Uh, not so recent as in like the past five chapters, a little bit more than five chapters, uh, but I think everyone knows where I'm going with this. It's uh, the Hito Hito no Mi, mythical model Nika. Now, this is Luffy's devil fruit, obviously, we know what Luffy is capable of in the current manga, the ability to somewhat warp reality, the, the Toon Force ability, right? Uh, it being a mythical Zoan, a fruit that the world government has sought after for years and years and years. I think it being number one, it, it's deserving, right? I think he has the most broken fruit in my opinion as of right now. Anything with altering reality abilities, I think that has to be number one, right? Being able to change destiny and fate insane the hito hito no mi mythical model nika has to be in my opinion hands down the number one fruit in one piece and i think nothing else comes even close to it as of right now in my opinion right being able to defeat kaido with that double fruit uh awakening it right it's extremely powerful extremely powerful double fruit i don't need to say much but listen if you enjoyed this video if you want more anime content one piece content make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell i talk about one piece and manga and every single week and every single day uh, i talk about all things from chainsaw man to my hero academia to black clover if you want more one piece content like this follow me on tiktok as well because i talk about one piece every single day on tiktok it's the one straw has same handle and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everyone also everyone sounds like says i sound a little bit different right now it's because i'm a little bit sick so let me get a little bit better and then you'll be like okay he sounds back to normal